heed the heavens, the grand theogenist demands. Azia stirs. Yes. As wind is wanton to do, magic or otherwise. I am tired and drunk on rage. My eyes seek to make a fool of me. And a fool I am made. Grungis Baldric, revered by soldiers, dwarves, and dimwits aplenty. Good God. Is it time? So we just saw that CA dropped this teaser and... What the fuck is going on is my first reaction, to be honest with you, Chief. Um, I'm freaking out. All right, to work out what this is actually a tease for, let's just go through every single thing that we see in this tease. Now, the first thing we see is a landscape shop of Altdorf being watched over by a pikeman with a delightful red feather in his hat. We also see this huge towering building with a massive telescope on the top. Now, this telescope is used to look into the stars to find constellations, and as we're going to see, constellations are very, 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 very important in this teaser. So in the teaser, the guy says, heed the heavens, the grand fiat, I can't quite catch that word, okay, demands. Now, what we can pretty much ascertain from this is that someone is telling him to heed the heavens and and judging from that fancy name, it's definitely someone that's high up there. So we want to take what he is saying about the heavens uh, very seriously. The next thing he says is Azir stirs, and Azir might actually be known to you by a different name, which is the Law of Heavens. Now, this law has a strong focus on astromancer and using that magic to determine the future and mess around with fate. We can gather that this mage that we are looking at right here has something which is called the Witch Sight, because he is literally looking at Azir, all the winds of magic, or basically seeing these fancy constellations and having them reveal to him. You have to be a pretty high tier level of Law of Heavens wizard to get this power. Now, one thing that he says in this, which is quite surprising, is I'm tired and drunken on rage. Now, why this is surprising is because the wizards of the Law of Heavens were known to be these really chilled out celestial beings that didn't really, like, put out any outward anger because they were so knowledgeable and intelligent of what was to come. They didn't ever really feel a need to. They just knew what was going to happen. And, well, when you know what's going to happen, there's nothing you really can do or want to do to change it. I imagine you're a pretty chill guy. And the next thing he says is his eyes are attempting to make a fool of him and a fool he is made. Uh, what we can gather from this is that what he's seeing, he should not be able to see. He's saying, my eyes, they're trying to play tricks on me, but it's working. I'm made a fool of. These tricks are working because this is what I'm seeing. I can't fake this. So what we can gather from this is that what he's seen, he should not be seen right now. And I'll explain why this makes sense in just a moment. So he sees this constellation. This constellation is called Grungi's Baldric, and it's basically meant to be a constellation of a dwarf holding a baldric, whatever that is, I imagine it's some sort of axe weapon. Uh, if I'm misinterpreting this, by the way, feel free to correct me in the comments. I really do want to hear your theories on this because this is extremely, extremely, extremely exciting. And this constellation is important to soldiers and dwarves because it signifies excellence at arms and skill in battle. Now, why it makes sense that this is playing a trick on the mage, because you know, seeing the stars doesn't really mean that anything's been made a trick on him. It just means it's seen stars. But this constellation is not meant to appear until late spring to early summer. Uh, now, why this might be making a fool of him is because if we're talking real world time, it's, it's too early for that. You would not see that yet in the UK where CA is based. You would have to wait a couple of months to see it. And that could mean something very exciting if you know this is Warhammer 3, because that could mean, wait, when this constellation is meant to be seen, uh, the game could be out, which would be bananas. I don't know if it is yet. We have not seen a trailer. We do not have an announced date. We don't have anything. This is all just pure speculation, uh, but that'd be pretty damn exciting. Now, one thing that could be telling us is, you know, since it has such significance to the dwarves, it could mean that game three is going to have some dwarves. And if game three has dwarves, I think it's pretty safe to say that it's going to be chaos dwarves because they have been the talk of the town for years and months and forever now, ever since Warhammer 3 speculations even started. So there is a very strong chance that if this is Warhammer 3, we do get dwarves and those dwarves will definitely be almost definitely be the Chaos Dwarves, and that is super duper exciting. I love me some Dwarves. Chaos are actually kind of cool now. You know, they were actually really fun when I played them, plus when they get a buff, so Chaos plus Dwarves sounds like fun to me, Chief. Another thing to do with this constellation that makes me very excited for the coming months is that many Lords would actually choose to start their campaigns in late summer to spring when this constellation was shown because it signified good luck in, well, starting their campaign. You know, signifies excellence in battle. If you are wanting to do very well in battle, chance are you want this constellation above you, just for a bit of extra luck. Now, this could mean that if this is Warhammer 3, we could see this game as early as late spring to early summer this year. You know, I mean, it could be next year, but that'd be pretty ridiculous to put out this teaser and then make us wait an entire year plus. Uh, so again, this could be pure speculation. This could just be me reading into it too much, reading into the wiki too much. But if that is true, that's bananas. And the final thing that he says about this constellation is Grungi's Baldric revered by soldiers, dwarves, and dimwits aplenty. Uh, this could just be him talking down to soldiers and dwarves and calling them stupid because, you know, he's a big grand old wizard and they're not smart enough for him. 
but the dimwits could mean something else. What are these stereotypically stupid units that you think of? Because for me, it's the green skins. It's significantly the larger green skins, because the larger green skins are all about just war and straightforward, nothing really clever. You know, the goblins are more sneaky and stuff. So could this mean that we get in another green skin type faction? You know, the Ogre Kingdoms are something that people have been theorizing about, but again, the same amount of time as the Chaos Dwarves. So this could just be me reading into it, but calling Dwarves, Soldiers, and Dimwits, it could just be talking about a stupid faction like the Ogres, or it could just be calling people stupid. You know, I could be the Dimwit here for all I know. Now that is just about everything that I've been able to squeeze out of this teaser. Again, I'm not the Great Book of Grudges. I'm not Lord Master of Sotek. I'm not all these channels that have read Warhammer for years and years and years. You know, I just love Warhammer too. It's a really cool game, but this is my speculation on what this is. So please, I'm really asking you genuinely for once, comment down below. Tell me what your theories are. Tell me what you think this is. Hop into the Discord. I'll be happy to chat about it. I'm probably going to make a channel just to talk about these teaser discussions because, good lord, I think it's going to be a very, very, very exciting time for Warhammer and Total War in general. So yes, thank you very, very much for watching this teaser. Uh, I'm sorry if this is a super short video. Uh, again, I tried to get as much out of this as I possibly could and also to try and get it out in time for, you know, the announced stuff because, you know, partner program and all that stuff. You really want to want to hit those times. Yes, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you very soon. Who knows? You know, I imagine since this teaser is out, we can expect something else in the coming weeks. So if you want to catch all the coverage of any of the upcoming news and any Warhammer news or any Total War news just in general, then be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification, and that way you'll never miss a video and you'll be the first to find out all this news after me and, you know, after you've watched and see a video because I can't pull them out at the same time. It's legally obligated, okay? Yes, thank you very much for watching and I will see you at some point, I'm sure. I'm a free baby.